Jund boats. Jund boats. What about throwing boats? All right, Jund boats. This is what we got. So where are we at from the last time we played this deck? We're not too far off. So there's four changes, four big changes that I well, I made I cut I made I changed four cards. That's what I'm, what I'm trying to say here. I can't speak tonight. So what we have decided to do is cut the two copies of Misery Shadow, the fourth Mishra, and the fourth Engine for four main deck Thoughtseize. I think Thoughtseize is just a really good card in the format, just very, very powerful. Um, the biggest reason to play Misery Shadow was, as you'll notice, there's a lack of two drops, right? So I, you have Bone Crusher Giant, but like Misery Shadow was really just there to fill the spot in the curve that was that was missing before. Um, Thoughtseize does that as well. Like you, if you don't have a two drop or if you, don't, if you don't have elf in the thing, or if your elf dies, you can still just play Thoughtseize on turn two and it's still pretty good. Um, and it also allows you to fill the curve out a little bit better as the turns go on too. Uh, it only costing one mana is very important there as well. And just, it helps you in your bad matchups because this deck is not great against the, the combo decks. Like it's, it's okay. It's modern green, but Lotus field is bad. Uh, stuff like that. So that's the uh, the big change here. And then I'm trying out Slaughter Games in the sideboard. Again, to help the Lotus Field matchup. I don't know if it's even that good against Lotus Field, but I'm going to try it out. Maybe we'll play against Field, maybe not. Uh, I probably would bring it in against Green for what it's worth. So keep that in mind as well. But yeah, it's I mean, it's just red-green boats with the... Uh, we're going to melt tonight. Well, I hope we're going to melt. <coughs> I hope we melt. Should we get the melt counter up in advance, or is that uh, is that asking for too much? It's probably jin probably jinxing it if I do that. All right, on the die roll feels good, man. Empty bed, hands fine. It's one of those things I was talking about, right? It's like we have turn one elf, but if our elf dies, we can still just have we still have a good turn two because we have two ones, and that's the very nice thing about just playing more one drops. It just helps you cur it helps you double triple spell and curve out so much more efficiently than, you know, playing, like, mediocre 2-mana 2-2. Two -two. A Domri Raid 2. Oh. You don't say. So, playing Elf is a little bit worse if they have Stomp. But if they have Stomp, I can just go, again, Elf Thoughtseize next turn. Maybe we can take their next removal spell and just slam Mishra, potentially. If they don't stop me, I'll probably just play Engine. <clears throat> Savage Born Hydra. I don't think I've ever cast a Savage Born Hydra. Okay, their draw seems not very good. Hmm. So if I engine... I'm just going to engine. It's high upside. If they had stomp, they would have killed the elf, so... <laughs> As today was back then, you know? We all get there eventually. I, I, still, I, I still make a ton of mistakes, you know? I mean, a lot of it is is related to just, you know, I, I don't want to blame, but I don't want to blame chat, but it's just streaming is very hard, you know, like a, a lot of, a lot of streamers just kind of brain fart sometimes. It's just something that's going to happen. Comes with the territory, you know, part of the job. It's extremely distracting, but I love it. You know, I wouldn't trade it for the world. The fact that I get to be here with each and every one of you every single day. Well, except for Fridays. I love it. You know, I just love hanging out with people chat i should say <clears throat> yeah exactly whoa that's a boulder rush all right minus five kick w also cast a play with fire well i mean chat do do you see what i see do you see what i see is it time don't you i uh, just jinxed it I already jinxed it. <clears throat> yeah, they're going to kill my elf now. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I know what I'm doing this turn. <laughs> I know what I'm doing this turn. Uh, do I want to use the ability? Uh, yeah, my hand kind of sucks. I guess I'll use it. <clears throat> okay, I guess the hand's better. <clears throat> Alright, what does this do again? I don't know. Twitter, though. That's what it does. Put this trigger on the stack. Discard 2 is pretty good, but they have 2 cards in hand. 
Uh, deal three. So definitely discard two. Uh, deal three to the annex. And then I guess give my thing trample. Could, like, what is minus one? Minus one, minus one doesn't accomplish anything, right? Because it won't get the annex token. Because it'll hop it. The, all the, the trigger happens at the same time. And this won't, the token won't be in play for the, for the Mishra. So I guess we'll do this. All right, you discard, kill your annex. I'm killing annex the player on the top deck, Embercleave. <clears throat> they did not have the Embercleave in hand. So now Cleave would be three, six, eight, ten. Yeah, Cleave's only ten, so we're fine. All right, let's get the meld counter out. It's time. It's been a hot minute since we had the meld counter. I gotta go back to playing more Mishra decks. All right, meld count. You absolutely love to see it. That is not what I wanted to do. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. Tarkus Command is 13. Uh, I hope so. 3, 6, 10. Yeah, they're one short. Oh, man. <laughs> Tarkus Command one short. Oh, uh, tragic. Absolutely tragic. Absolutely tragic. Sheesh. Okay, uh, red green. There's not much I want here. Like the go for the throats aren't terrible. Is there anything that's bad? I don't actually think Thoughtseize is that bad against against this version. <laughs> <coughs> because if you Thoughtseize a Tarkus command, you're going to be saving a lot more than two damage. So I think I'm just going to run it back. Thoughtseize on Annex seems pretty important too. If I don't have a Bolt, it is nice that Bolt can just one for one the Annex. I do enjoy that. You were the current that carried me. I found me. Rescue me. Do I not own a matching set of thought teases? Mana Traders, which by the way, exclamation point Mana Traders, good plug here in Lich. Thank you, buddy. For all of your card rental needs, if you've ever wanted to try it out, exclamation point Mana Traders will get you a code for a nice little discount on your first couple of months. So be sure to check them out. And they're coming in highly recommended. I've been using them for about four years now. So, yeah, all of your mismatched rental card needs. I mean, some days are good. You know, some days they give me four old border force of wills. And then other days they give me four different thoughts eases. So it's hit or miss, you know. Ugh. Sands painfully slow on the draw. This card goes a long way, but I don't know if it can fix a hand like this. How is it different from card hoarder? Um, I'm, I'm, I've never used Card Hoarder, so I'm just not familiar with their services. I'm sure it's not that different, though. Maybe other people who have a, a Card Hoarder account can, can chime in, because I, I just don't know what they offer. I'll ship this. It's pretty close, but... Okay, this is better, I think. It's definitely better. Shock Pass, huh? Uh, I mean, I guess I'll play into it, like... It's possible I'd rather have them kill the elf than scry, but I don't know. Mana Traders is monthly payments, yeah. What's up, Curd Bros? How you doing, buddy? Card Hoarder, you give them X tickets a week to rent up to Y amount of cards. Oh, so it's like a weekly payment, okay. I see. I see, okay. So it's weekly versus monthly, because yeah, I know I know Mana Traders is just monthly. I don't think they have a, a weekly plan. Yeah, rates are probably pretty similar. I would imagine. Hmm. So we can't even really go beatdowns with this Stormseeker, but we can go Stormseeker into Mishra next turn, which is nice. We have a 2-3 to block the Kumano. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair, Rajon. <clears throat> Let's use his guards. Is your whale friend perhaps X-Whale? One and only whale. 1k ticks a week would cost 25. A month of 1k cost on Mana Traders... Well, it's it's different because there are loyalty bonuses. So if you've had your if you've had the program, wait, why are they not attacking with etching? Why would they attack with Swiss Spear and not etching? What could that mean? Is there anything that I'm missing here? Well, if they had the Rimrock Knight, they would attack. Oh wait, does Rimrock Knight not pump toughness? Is it plus two plus zero or plus two plus one? I think it doesn't pump toughness, right? That's why. Okay, that makes more sense then. <clears throat> so I guess I just don't block. I want to be able to go. I want to. I want to haste the Mishra. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, let's let's take a look at the the mana traders base levels. I'm just curious. Cause I, I know which one that my plan has, but let's see. Let's do a, a quick little Google search. <clears throat> so yeah, and again, the one I have is well, it see it's weird because like rental capacity is thirteen fifty, but that's with my loyalty bonuses, so you'll see that the the hundred dollars a month is twelve fifty, but that's the um, that's the base price. This is not the base price. I don't actually know what the base for gold is. I don't I don't know what that is. Not price. I'm not price. I meant uh, rental limit. Not price. It's nine hundred. Okay, so close enough to a thousand. So what? Sixty sixty bucks for a thousand. Let's see. Am I supposed to not play the Mishra this turn? No, I think I am. Are we racing? I think we're racing. I go to 13. They take 8. 13. And then they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. I guess we're dead to a Tarkus command. If I leave this back, I'm at 12. Block here. 9. Right? Because I block here. 9, 3, 6. I still actually die. I die to, I die to a Tarkus command even if I leave this back, so... card hoarder not have a loyalty program i actually don't know custom ticks limit per month when pioneer became popular told me it's not possible 500 ticks would be decent for pioneer yeah that's true i guess that is the kind of the upside to card hoarder is that you can kind of pick your own plan you're not relegated to like just having you know four plans available because in the instance of pioneer you know the decks don't cost that much so you don't want to get like you know you you you'd probably want to get the second limit or the second uh the second plan right at that point, which would be, would be, yeah, for rental capacity, 400 ticks, 34, 34 95 a month. That's like the perfect plan for Pioneer. Gold is 850. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, this hand's missing a third and potentially fourth land. I should probably ship this. Okay, this is much, much better. Put back the Mishra because we don't have black. <clears throat> Merktite, Merktite's only 500 tickets? That's low. Really low. Rather pick up Chigantha than deal point of damage. If you buy one year of gold, you get 12 months loyalty immediately, which puts me at 955. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I didn't... Okay, so if you buy a full year in advance, you actually get the full loyalty bonuses up front. I didn't know that. That's a, That's kind of cool. I was not aware of that. It's a ni nice little addition. Yeah. Yeah, Cherry gets kind of awkward into the Loyalist, but the nice thing is, if I get to untap with the Elf, I could just boat the Loyalist, and then I can actually block. Okay, that makes things a little a little awkward. Yeah, I can also animate the Chariot, even if they attack with... If they played, like, a Haste creature, I can still animate the Chariot on blocks. <laughs> Hmm. So you do have to at least consider Embercleave as a as an, a viable option. So if I boat the annex and just attack with chariot, make one token, I'm at sixteen. Annex's tokens are bugged. How are they bu how are they are they actually bugged? I honestly don't know. I mean I'm gonna cast this boat. <clears throat> the Seder Lord. Oh, you saw, oh buffed because of the Seder Lord. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Well, I mean, still, still killing the kill, killing the Annex is still better, I think. Right. I guess it's worse against Coco. Maybe I don't attack with Chariot now. Oh, this is tough. I could Chariot make a blocker. Well, I can't block as the Loyalist. So then, if they have a Tarkus command, it would be two, five, eight, eleven, fourteen. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to pass here. It looks really awkward, but I can at least block with either the Chariot or the Sky Sovereign. Yeah, they can't block, but the whole point is that I need a blocker back. If I crew, if I crew the Chariot and attack, my only blocker is a 2-2 token, and this prevents tokens from blocking. So I just want to keep, keep myself with a blocker back. Maybe that's not right, but... 
Because, like, as long as I don't take a shit ton of damage this turn, I can just, I can vote the Galia next turn. They have, like, double a Tarkus command, maybe? Maybe I'm supposed to kill Galia instead of Annex and just hope they don't have Cleave. Mm. They'll discard the Cleave off the Galia trigger. This is discard, then draw, right? Yeah. They did not use it. Well, that's a fucking disaster. So, I think we crew the chariot, because that's the one I'm more like, I'd rather trade with. I mean, if they use a removal spell on this, I can just crew the boat in response. So that's fine. Then I think we block the Gallia. <clears throat> the only one I can block with. Well, I can block with boat, right? Why can't I block with boat? Tarkus Command. They really have double a Tarkus Command? I mean, I guess I was just never beating that no matter what I did, right? Yeah. Okay. I've not won a match tonight yet. Jesus Christ. It's time to go play Guitar Hero, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Oh, anytime, buddy. Anytime. Mm. So, three, three, four, four, five, two lands. I think I'm all set with that. Uh... I like keep this second thoughtsies, I think. Retromancy coming in with a Twitch Prime. Thank you very, very much for using that Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Let's get some Doom hypes in the chat, please, and thank you. I'll need to get better at spamming emotes. Nobody ever spams emotes in this chat. Bone Crusher, Stormseeker. God, their hand's good. Anti Chariot. I guess I could just hope they don't find lands. They have, like Stormseeker. I think Stormseeker's the highest upside card. I don't really know. I put this song in the playlist specifically when I went to Atlanta. And uh, I never took it off, because it's kind of a banger. Mm. Oh yeah, DDR too. I miss DDR. <clears throat> Back when I was a wee little lad. Do away with the pork. Did you forget your fucking manners? Any double green for anything? I don't think so. Nice Bone Crusher. 2 3. Yeah, stomp me. Minus 2, Keck W. Can't lose with 22s. Minus 2, Keck W. Yo. <clears throat> yo. How many times do you think he says yo? Ivan Drago, thank you for the two months of Prime. GG's earlier, buddy. All right, we got some fat clouds for Gile. Gile! Getting fucked up. So, hmm, I'm at 11. So, if I Stormseeker attack for 6, they go to 10. They can go Lovestruck Haste attack for 9. And then I would actually have Lethal, because I can go Dragon Engine, pump it twice, attack for 12. Like, do I have a better line? I don't really think I do. I think I just have to go for it. Like, blocking with Stormseeker does not seem like a winning line. <clears throat> I will say, Stormseeker plus Double Strike is kind of a combo. Might be another Splinter Twin situation. Bodies don't stop till 8 in the morning. I mean, I went to Atlanta, and I don't really think they were partying, in uh, partying until 8 a.m., so... Now you're just straight up lying to me. Oh no. It's your chariot too. Are there no they we knew they had chariot, yeah. Uh so I guess now they just make a blocker, huh? Huh. Right. I can also leave back the token. So I guess we lose. I think we lose. <clears throat> Needed to land there so I could potentially crew or potentially curve into boat, but Alright, you win. Big Sag. So, Boat's Mirror. Crone War is very good in the mirror. Uh, Go for the Throat is interesting because it kills Stormseeker, but it does not kill the most important cards, which are Chariot and Sky Sovereign, so I don't really even think I want it. Uh, games go down to Top Deck Wars. I actually don't think I want to have Thoughtseize in my deck. I'll play one Go for the Throat. But yeah, I think, I think Thoughtseize is kind of mid. I guess it trades... It's like one of the cards that... Tr that one of the few cards that actually trades one for one with a Crone War... 
so maybe it's worth it just for that card, but I don't know. His hands, man. <clears throat> it's been a rough night for uh, <laughs> just for opening hands, you know. <clears throat> I mean, I guess we keep this put back boat, maybe. Uh, I'm just going to put back the, the fourth land. We'll, we'll draw a land for Chariot. Yeah, go for the throw could be good on the draw for Stormseeker. That's a good point. You run K command in the board. That could that could be good too. I'm not opposed to it. It's like if if you wanted to shatter, it's you know it's a little bit less mana efficient than a braid, but it is much more impactful. And it's also better against decks like uh, like Rakdos. <coughs> Why would we actively put Throne in deck for vehicles? Power would kill a Heartless Act and said, "Well, Heartless Heartless Act cannot kill Heartless Act cannot kill Shredder or Thing in the Ice." And I'm pr I think there is something that what does power word kill not kill? I thought there was something very important that it didn't hit. But I mean the the primary reason for go for the throat in the sideboard is for shield rid. That's the biggest reason. I guess that's a good point too. It doesn't hit angels, so it's like you have to weigh: would you rather have a card that's better in the mirror or a card that's better versus angels? Angels is kind of a tough matchup, so <laughs> they have the scoos too. This is just like going as about, as bad as it possibly could. I don't know what I did to deserve this. My my account is just like apparently the uh, the anti MTGO premium, as it were. My account's blacklisted tonight. It's been a rough night. Yeah, at least they don't have land five for boat. I'll be have chariot though. It's bad too. So we go to five. I mean, even if I slam chariot, I think I'm still kind of screwed. Oh my god. I mean, I'm not dead on board. They go bone crusher, haste it. I chump this, chump the bone crusher, take three. But I mean, I'm certainly not alive. Rough night so far. It's all right. Clone hero is going to turn it all around. This is just a clone hero waiting room at this point. Yeah. Mayhem Devil 2. Yeah, that's a good point. Why do they keep tapping the elf? Alright, met 3. They could have attacked the elf with the elf there. It's just a free point of damage. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. 0-7 tonight so far. <clears throat> this is fucking brutal. I am not having a good time. I mean, I'm having fun, but... Alright, this hand's good. Mono G, what about it? If they play a 1-drop, I can actually, I can thought to use plus stomp, which would be nice. Oh, not that, not that 1-drop. Should take the Sparhelion, right? Very clearly should take the Parhelion. Okay, that was their draw step. How are boats 0-2? We've been getting absurdly unlucky. Alright, untap land, please. Thank you. Uh, I think we want to go Chariot first. Then we can go Mishra next turn, crew the Chariot with the Mishra, and then get more damage. You know what I mean? Oh, right, they just have Evolution. We knew they had Evolution. I mean, I guess there was nothing I could do about that. Right, we knew about the Evolution? I think we did. Okay. Yeah, we're probably dead. Did they have the Evolution when I thought seized them? I swear they didn't. It was their hand. Yeah, they didn't. They had Parhelion, Pathway, Pathway, Chariot, Supplier. Yeah, they didn't. So they just peeled. They just peeled. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. This is fucking brutal. All right, you win. <laughs> God damn it, man. Come on. Can I catch a break, please? Just once? 
I'm I'm not asking for much, you know. I'm I'm really not. I'm really not asking for much. I actually don't even like go for the throat. No, I guess I want a couple copies. It's probably fine. This is a rough one. This is a rough one. Hands are fine. Yeah. Like, I mean, these hand, these opening hands are fine. It's just like, I mean, that game, you know? Like, I thought to use them, their hand was dog shit, and they just drew... I mean, they have a lot of copies of Grease Fang, to be fair, but if you, like, dodge it for a couple turns, you probably win that game very easily. But we didn't. Uh, I think I'm going to play this on green. I don't think it matters that much, but... It's like, which pathway I play. Because I'll, I'll end up having one of each anyways. Alright, what you got? Hand is perfect. I mean, I guess I'll take the Grease Fang. It sucks that I, like... If they didn't have... If they didn't have the Grizzly Salvage, feel a lot better, but their hand's just good. Uh, Alright, play this boat. Go. Surely this will work, right? Oh, they didn't hit the Stone Cold Nuts. Kind of surprised, actually. They put... What they put in their hand? They chose Stitcher's Supplier. Okay. Any creature lets us screw the boat. Any creature. Chariot's probably the best one. Okay. So we know they have... They discarded boat. So they have Wayfinder, Chariot, one unknown. That is not a creature. It's a creature next turn. <clears throat> so they probably just play Chariot this turn. Assuming they have the untapped land, which they probably do. <laughs> they have Blooming Marsh, nice. Probably should have played Wayfinder first. I don't think it matters that much. They broke down land. Okay. So Chariot, one unknown card. Yeah, that's fine. Take four. Go. I guess we can play this on red. Two, three, four, five. Crew the boat. Attack with the boat. Kill the informant. Still hold up running volley. <clears throat> so they are dead in two to the boat, which means we easily beat the we easily win the chariot race. Yeah, I don't care about that. <clears throat> yeah, take two. It's a good thing I have this boat, because <laughs> I ain't got anything else. <laughs> ain't got anything else. If they draw a Sage, I'm probably fucked. What's this? Uh, that's a lot worse than a Besage you. I can't help but laugh. I just this is so funny. I'm sure, I'll draw land here. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's actually insane how like unlucky I've been today. Wow. Shit's fucking wild. <clears throat> Whatever. I'll block. They're trying to hit. Can't stay away. But we have the we have the running ball to beat. Can't stay away anyway. So I don't really care about blocking. I mean, I guess the Gigantha's just stabilizing. Which is fine. Uh, does that really do that much? I mean, if I attack... What happens if I attack? They what? Crew the Chariot, double block... No, they just don't even crew the Chariot, right? They just, like, chump block with Wayfinder. And then they get to crack back with the Chariot. I attack, they block here. Assuming they don't draw a land... They go, tap these, crew chariot, attack, target a token. The token they target, I can blow up with go for the throat. Might stone a weak stone should find its way into boat instead of a crow in war. Nah, crow in war's a lot better. Um, you're playing a crow in war more for the third chapter than the first chapter. The third chapter is is what, what really what you're playing it for. I think I'm actually going to attack here. I think this is fine. I guess this is a disaster if they have a second chariot. 
But I think if they had a second chariot, they would have just played it. I'm I'm fairly convinced if they had a second chariot, they would have just played it last turn. So I shouldn't play around that. Okay, I mean... Carry on. Alright, chariot down. I guess they have a second chariot. I'm surprised they just didn't play the second chariot there. They wouldn't make that play unless they did. But... Oh, wait, what? Why the fuck didn't they just chuck block? That seemed not correct. If they triple, we can Rending Volley the Knight of Autumn. Okay, it's also fine. Alright, go. Don't mean that much to me. Ronnie Enjoyers. I am a Ronnie Enjoyer. Raise his hand, me smile. Alright, they rip the chariot. Now we probably have to up the brakes a little bit. They should attack here, yeah. I think I'm gonna double block one. Certainly don't need the elves anymore. I guess keeping the elves is good if I draw exactly. <sighs> Alright, go. <laughs> this is absurd. <laughs> saw Ronnie when they still in Escape the Fate. Yeah. I saw I saw Escape the Fate at I think it was, yeah, it was at the Palladium a, a long time ago. <clears throat> I've only seen them once, though. Ronnie's great. So they crew chariot, send everybody, and I can block chariot, kill inform, and still die. Dude, how did I, how, how on earth did I lose this game? <laughs> oh my god. Physically and legitimately, it's it's just not possible. <clears throat> it's just not possible. Do we have to? I mean, you know, as much as, like, I, I'm still, like, having a, a good time, but it does really fucking suck to go 0-10. <laughs> it does feel really bad, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm just, it, I just find it funny at this point. I mean, if we're 0-4, I'll certainly gamble for the last match, but... Is there something we could run to help us filter, draw more cards over that cause us to move away from the meld package? So the one thing that you could consider is playing Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which some of the red-green decks have tried to adopt. I have tried Fable in the past in red-green, and it's never been that, like, I've never loved it that much. Um, I'm fairly convinced that this is just, like, a very unfortunate series of events, like... I, I don't think this is this is normal, you know? Like, we're getting... I, I feel like we're getting insanely unlucky. What does Mishra do? Uh, it does a lot. <laughs> it melds, if you're lucky. It's a 4 mana 3, 5. Whenever it attacks, you... Or whenever you attack, you drain them for X life, where X is the number of attacking creatures, and then if it and Dragon Engine are both attacking, you get to meld. Essentially a Hellrider. It's a good way to describe it. So they played two planes and this. We know they have Brave. So we can go... Hmm. I mean, I guess I'm down to just Bone Crusher here, right? But I think it's better than normal red-green. It's more interesting, for sure. I don't know if it's better, per se. Love Struck Beast is very good, and the utility that you get off Love Struck Beast is, is important. So I don't know if it's necessarily better, but... I'm going to play Bone Crusher here. This is greedy, because if I don't draw it on tap lane, it's pretty awkward, but if if that's the case, then I could just go, like, layer elf and then boat on curve. <clears throat> Their hand also seems kind of... kind of shocked. I should have attacked first, but... The one thing that black gives you is... Well, it gives you two things. It gives you access to Thoughties in the sideboard, which is nice... Uh, or, well, sideboard or main deck, but it also gives you go for the throat, which is just, a, like, a very, very premium removal spell that red-green does not have access to. So that's, like, a, another thing, another benefit to splashing black. All right, this is probably our best matchup, so we might finally get a match. <clears throat> Maybe I just count my hatches before they chickened. I think the meld stuff is unfortunately not good enough in this matchup. I just want as much removal as I can possibly get my hands on. I do actually like Thoughtseize quite a bit in this matchup because it takes Brave. And that's a card that you frequently just get completely destroyed by. Yeah, I wanted to try Slaughter Games for the Lotus Field matchup. 
because that's another big weakness of red green boats is is lotus just like combo decks in general so slaughter games being uh you know a card that you can just play on turn three with elf seem pretty powerful finally gonna get a fucking match the endless struggle doomwake trying to win a single match i appreciate the faith card bros you have more than i do thought hemorrhage dealt damage to them equal to the number they had in their hand right all right one two three love to see it yeah that card was sick maybe not the one drop of preference i'd rather have an elf but just like another good another reason to play thoughtsies that's interesting still think that Thoughtsy's go for the throat into Stormseeker is better than Elf Stormseeker and then Thoughtsy's go for the throat. Yeah, I'm just going to play Thoughtsy's. Bodyguard Specialist Aspirant Skyclave. Race League League 1 for oh, four up prelim. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just magic. There's a lot of variants involved in magic, you know. At case in point, today's entire stream. <clears throat> How do I want to play this? I kind of want to take Skyclave Apparition. It's the one that that's like they're the farthest away from casting, but I, maybe Specialist is better. I guess I could wait. What? Well, the problem with taking Aspirant is if they find land three for Specialist, that's kind of bad, right? But I think I think I have to take this Specialist. I don't love this, but I think I'm gonna take it because they do get to get a counter on the Initiate before I can kill the Aspirant, which sucks, but. If I take the Aspirant, they just go Bodyguard, Protect, Initiate. And then if they rip a land, they just get to go Specialist into Aspirant. And it's just like such a disaster for me. So this is, you know, playing around them drawing a land. <clears throat> Pretty sure I kill the Aspirant and not the Initiate. Let me stop drawing lands, though. I'm thinking of dropping Chariot and Gigantha for Obosh and Skitterbeam Battalion. Why Skitterbeam Battalion? Wouldn't you just replace it with another three instead? Because I think boat, like just hit boat as the as the top of your curve is is enough at the five slot. Oh, Skitterbeam Battalion with Obosh. Is that what you're thinking? It's not terrible. It's kind of cool. It's definitely interesting. Uh, play Stormseeker, just get Skyclaved. It's better than doing nothing, though. <clears throat> Could have maybe played Double Elf and try to block, like, Bodyguard Kithian. Well, they just indestructible to Kithian, right? They're also now gonna just flip this. So fucked. We're doing Clone here after this? Yeah, we should have enough time. We'll do a couple songs. Figured it was closest to Chariot. Hmm. Yeah, I would, like, if you wanted to play red-green and cut Chariot for Obosh, it might just be worth trying Phyrexian Dragon Engine, even though you're not going to play Mishra, just because... Or, better yet, you probably would just play Fable at that point, right? So your deck is 8 Elves, and you have Bone Crusher, Lovestruck, Fable, Stormseeker, that's 16, that's 24, and then you have... Uh, three boat is 27. I guess you need to find another removal spell because the Gruul deck plays Obliterating Bolt. What's the best one or three mana removal spell? Is it just Strangle? All right, we may have spoke too soon. We might not get a match tonight. Play first. Good hand, please. Good RNG. Hmm... I mean, okay, yeah, this is good. Back the boat. <clears throat> okay, we finally have Elf into Stormseeker for the first time in this league. Which is certainly the best draw that the boat's deck can have. Means the new set to be here. New set to be fun. Seems a bit merry now to me, at least. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, you know, I obviously have my... You know, you you guys know how much I I don't love modern right now, but even Pioneer, like I I don't I don't hate Pioneer, but it's you know getting a little bit stale, and I agree with you. I kind of I, I'm kind of really waiting for the new set to drop and hope that something changes, because it's just it's just I don't know with everything the with everything with repetition it just gets boring over time. What's wrong with modern? <laughs> uh, I don't think we have enough time for the rest of this stream for me to air my grievances for modern 
We'll be here for a while if that's the case. Give me my hottest take. Uh, I mean, all of my takes, I, I think, are pretty mild. Seems like a, a lot of what I say, you know, a lot of a, a lot of other people think that as well. I'm actually going to go to combat here. See if I can bait them into second bodyguard. And then if not, I'll just post combat, kill the recruitment officer. We just need pure modern. Pure modern was a good idea. We could do some more pure modern tournaments. I'd be down for it. Proceed. <clears throat> They're printing 10 Planeswalkers and all would be one. One of them will be bound to be a mistake. Yeah, are we going to have the next Oko? Remember <laughs> remember during Streets of New Capenna spoiler season when people were comparing Ob Nixilis, the adversary, to Oko, Thief of Crowns? Anybody remember that? Where where are those, uh, where are those Ob Nixilis truthers now, mod check? Where are you at? Where'd you go? It really was. Commander Ruin MTG for everyone else. I mean, they just need to not print... <laughs> you know, I, Commander should be the only product that has supplemental sets. I think supplemental sets are bad for everything that's not Commander. Maybe that's a hot take, but I don't think it's that hot of a take. It sees just as much play as Oka. I mean, you're not wrong. Okay, this is going to look like a weird play. But if I don't make this play... They can double block. And I don't want them double blocking the Stormseeker. I think this is a good line. Maybe it's a bit of a spew, but... Wait, I could have just killed this. What am I doing? I guess it's kind of the same thing. They can't trade... Yeah, I don't know. I should have killed this, though. I should have killed this. Yeah, I don't know. I... <laughs> you know, my in my brain, for some reason, I thought the Bodyguard was protecting the 1-1. One -one. But even if that was the case, killing the Bodyguard's still better, so... I think it was just a, a brain fart. I don't even think the commander people like initiative. <laughs> yeah, we are 0 3. We're in the uh, Doom obliterating bolting a 1 1 token bracket. I do like robots, yeah. It's one of my it's one of my one of my preferred decks in Pioneer. So this is the Brave turn. Hmm. The Brave turn, huh? You could draw for the Brave turn. Pretty, 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 pretty good draw step. I will target the... Oh, I guess the bodyguard. When you board an Embercleave, you board it in when you need to go fast. When you need to zoom, zoom. So, monogreen, lotus field, stuff like that. I guess I'll do it this way. I don't know what they could have. Target. Pause champ. Pause champ. Rude. Well, shit. Uh, Alright, you can go. No point in attacking because they have an indestructible Kithian. <coughs> Do I bring it in against humans or spirits? Um... No, because I think Boat, Boats is pretty good against those tribal decks already. Maybe Spirits is not a great matchup, just because the Flyers. Um, but I think, that, I think that the other tribal, like Humans and stuff like that, I think Humans is a good matchup. So I would not bring it against them. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. The other problem with Spirits is like they also have... Um, uh, they have something that I can't think of right now. I can't use my brain. Mm, is, that's not lethal, is it? No. It is potentially lethal next turn, though, with the trample on Stormseeker. I pick up Jeff. I'm just trying to think if I want to, like, kill a creature, play a Bone Crusher, or just pick up Jeff. Maybe kill a creature, pick up Bone Crusher is better. Or, excuse me, kill a creature, play Bone Crusher. And then I could just haste the Bone Crusher, attack, and start trading. You know what I mean? Start trading it off for that. The other line is just, like, Pick up Jeff, pass, end of turn, stomp face, put them to two. I don't. I just don't like that as much. I'm just going to kill a token. Kill token, play Bone Crusher. Pick up Jeff, stomp is lethal. Well, not if they double spell. And they, they haven't played lands for several turns, so they probably have two spells to play. So the other nice thing about this attack is 
if they brave, they have one less creature in play. They actually have two, because they have to trade for the Bone Crusher, right? Don't we kill Bodyguard? No, they, if we kill Bodyguard, they just sack it in response. I don't get to play the Bone Crusher. So, stomping Bodyguard is bad. I mean, I know they can flip Kithian now, but I'd much rather have the 4-3, you know? Alright, they trade for Bodyguard anyways. Mm -mm. I think clearing the board is pretty good. And honestly, this is actually kind of a sick a sick line. I guess they won't attack with everything anyways. But I was going to say, if they attack with everything and give this indestructible, then they just flip the Stormseeker. Right, exactly, yeah. They just sack the Bone Crusher. Or, they sack the Bodyguard, and we don't even get to play the, the second half. We're getting the Adeline. Probably a free attack, right? 6, 9, 11, 13, 14. It's not quite lethal, right? 6, 8, 11, 13. Yeah, it's only 14 if they have Brave. We kind of need a good draw step, though. Because if we expect them to have Brave, I can't really double block. So I can block the 2-2. Two, two. Kind of need to find another boat. Right. I have Jeff. I only have 7 mana for Jeff. I guess if I draw a land. Hmm... Alright, well, I don't really have a good attack, so I guess we'll do this. Oh, wait. No, I'm one short, right? Yeah, I'm one short. Because I can haste the elf that I just played, but I still am one mana short. <clears throat> just closed my entire browser window, and I did not mean to do that. Let's uh, reopen everything, I guess. Whoopsie. All right, opponent, what you got? We're not at least we're not dead to brave this turn because we have multiple different colors of creatures back to block. Still not dead to brave. I think. There's no way, right? They give pro green. Yeah, no, I'm not dead. Block there, block there. I'm actually wait. Wait, actually it might be dead to brave. They go pro green. I block two. I block the Adeline. They can put counters on the Aspirin and the Human Token, which are all minimum three power. So I would block the Adeline and the Aspirin, and I would take three... So I would take eight, so they're one short. But honestly, if they have Brave, they should make that play because it forces... Okay, I was going to say, it forces me to chump block with the Stormseeker, which cuts off Bodice and out. They get a token from Adeline. Yeah, no, I know. I, I counted the token. I counted the token. <clears throat> Boat is lethal. I think it's the only card that's lethal, but do be lethal. Like, with this line, they can't force me to chump block with the Stormseeker. Mishra's lethal. That's true. Mishra... Oh, no, I boarded up the Mishra's. Yeah, I boarded up the Meld Package. I don't... Maybe that wasn't correct, though. Maybe I'm just going too Threat Light. Um, the theory being it's like the Meld Package is kind of slow in this matchup, and I didn't want it, but... That might not have been correct. So we go eat the 2-2, two, two, uh, chump here, take 6. Yeah, I mean, I'm only going to get one draw step anyway, so. Mishra side of the mill is pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to just keep in the Mishra stuff, just because of how, how good the Mishra trigger is in this matchup. I've been incorrect. I also am just a lot more threat light. All right, boat. Boat, please! I'm asking very, very nicely. I don't ask for much, you know. I'm gonna bloom marsh. This is just so troll to spend starting around 1 p.m. Eastern for Vintage Plus Pioneer. It's usually my that's usually the schedule. Oh my god, we got do we have blue way control as the last match? <clears throat> okay, this hand's good. Uh pff, what do I put back? Man, I have no idea what to put back with this hand. This is just like the perfect seven. There's no way it's the Chariot, right? I was thinking the Mishra. Because then if they kill the Elf, I have, like, more threes to cast. I think I put back a four drop. You want to put back Chariot? I mean, Chariot's my best four against Blue-White, but... This is, like, the content put back. I don't know if it's correct, but it's, you know... Obviously, keeping Engine plus Mishra is better for content. Okay, then not being able to kill the Storms, the Elf is nice. I might just dumpster them. I just straight up dumpster them. If they go land go, I'm just going to play Phyrexian Dragon Engine and play around sensor. No shot on playing this Mishra. Yeah, the meld count, I know. 
My god, we flipped the slasher too. Dude, they are so dead, it's unreal. <laughs> they are so fucking dead. <laughs> They're taking 12 damage on turn 3. No big deal. Just 12 on turn 3. I mean, they're going to scoop before I get to meld, yeah, obviously. There's no shot I would ever get to meld that game. <laughs> Absolutely no chance I ever get to meld. Mana Traders, thank you for the Tier 1 sub. Or, sorry, Mana Treasures. I read that wrong. Thank you for the Tier 1 sub. That counts as a meld? No, we can't count it. You know what I realized for this sideboarding plan? I, I don't have cards I actually want against Blue Eye Control, but I have three blanks. Did I bring in Slaughter Games? What do I even name it Slaughter Games? Like verdict well thank you treasures i appreciate the support thank you very much i'm glad you're enjoying the content could name farewell farewell is kind of a beating it's probably better than bolt right it'd be like one bolt to try to handle wandering emperor kind of shit it's like one hearse or one bolt i think i don't think i'd rather just have one bolt for wandering emperor purposes <clears throat> up a game. I mean, I attack from my opponent for 12 on turn 3, so... <laughs> yeah, this... Well, this is actually Donation Deck Thursday, so this this deck that you're watching right now is a Donation Deck. Um, as of right now, the queue is full for next week, but the week after we have slots available. They are $25, I think. I think I did $25. Uh, Alright, 5 it is. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll draw a forest. We will simply draw a forest. Am I choosy on format? I would prefer Pioneer, but Modern, Legacy, uh, Standard? I don't know if I do Standard. Maybe, but Modern, Pioneer, or Legacy, I'd prefer. And if you, if I had to choose between the three, I would certainly pick Pioneer. Cube, we can do Cube Donos. It's just a fancy word for stipulation drafts. Did stipulation drafts on Monday. Well, we also streamed Cube for 12 hours, so... Had to fill out the content somehow. Vintage is fun. I like Vintage. It's not everybody's cup of tea, especially with, you know, the, the new initiative cards, but... When I do Cube, yeah, when we, when we do Cube... Oh, I actually don't have a fucking basic land in my deck? Oh, no. <laughs> This is tragic. Will resolve. Yeah, Emperor me, I don't care. Emperor me, just fucking get it over with. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sick record this league. Thanks. My brother in Christ. Alright, well, I know what I'm bringing in for game three, and that card is the Akroan War. And by that, I mean, probably just go for the throat. Maybe, like, two go for the throat, one a crow in war. I definitely want three answers to Lyra, because I cannot beat that card. Maybe just go for the throat is good enough. Maybe I'll play, like, one Slaughter Games. Let's just do that. Yeah, if you're just tuning in, if you thought 04 was bad, well, let me tell you about the first league we played tonight. I don't want to spoil it, but now you're going to have to watch the VOD. All right, well, I guess we're just going to do this again, because they will not have Portable Hole in turn one, and then they'll just die. See? <clears throat> See? I told you. it's You just have to have Elf Stormseeker on the play every game. It's really that easy. Like, this is how you win with Grill Boats. It's really, really easy. Okay. I mean, I'm with you, I guess. Kinda. Attacking with the Storm Secret actually gives them an additional life, right? Because it deals them one, but they gain two. So yeah, it just gives them a life. Wait, they're chump blocking? Okay. Why would they chump block? Your browser quit on you. Feels bad, man. The card is harder to attack into Cryptic Commander Wandering Emperor. Definitely Wandering Emperor, because, like, if you attack into Cryptic Command, it's like, you know, casting spells into Cryptic Command is a different story, but, like, attacking into it's whatever. Rude. Rude. So I can pump the Elf and just trade Elf for Denik. I think that's good. It's 
12, they go up to 14 and take 6, go to 8, and they ref me. I mean, yeah, if they ref me, it's not great, but they just have Emperor. Uh, is is just casting Bone Crusher lethal? Cast Bone Crusher haste. <clears throat> and they have to Emperor, they, they take 3, go to 5. Yeah, it's just lethal. Oh, they go to 1. They go to 1 if I do this, right? Yeah, they're gonna one. I mean, I think putting them to one is pretty good with a Mishra in play, and it forces them to actually kill the Bone Crusher and not the Mishra, which is nice. All right, they go to five, play Emperor, kill this, go up to seven, take six. Oh, we won a match! Let's go! <laughs> not an O10 stream. Not an O10 stream. It feels good. Actually, feels good. It only took us three hours to get a, a single match win, but, you know, here we are. All right, let's pay out the prediction. 05? No, we did not 05. All right, no 05. You'll love to see it. All right, well, um, for the uh, for the YouTube folks, I mean, you know, the deck, uh, the Elf and the Stormseeker is a good curve. I guess the, the black cards didn't really accomplish too, too much this league. You know, we didn't have... I mean, Mishra was pretty good when we drew it, um... Like, that's the thing about this package, is I think both of the, both of the cart, like, both of the halves are pretty good individual cards, and that's where you want to be when you're trying to do the meld kind of stuff. But, you know, we did kind of notice the, the lack of Lovestruck Beast, and just having, like, you know, a little bit slightly, slightly less good top decks, because we're playing Thoughtseize, right? That's, that's the downside of playing Thoughtseize, but overall, I think this is a good, uh, like a good shell if you wanted to kind of splash the, the Mishra stuff in boats. So that's all I got. Go for the third good cyber card too. All right. What everybody's here for, let's play some fucking clone hero.